Hello again. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to save or retrieve a short piece of video, uh, a bit that you might want as evidence. Uh, and I'm just going to say an example of maybe a car that may drive past my car here and it may hit it. And I might just need to save that just to prove to the insurance company that that's what happened and I can show them. Uh, for this you're going to need um, a USB stick. Now I just happen to have here, I can just show you, I just happen to have a spare USB stick there right and it's empty there's nothing on it I've made sure it's erased uh, what you need to do is place this USB stick into the socket on the back of the uh, Sansco box which I'm just going to show you now I'm going to show you where the socket is and that's where it will actually plug in you can just see the USB socket on here uh, just underneath the yellow cable and above the black USB socket which is for the mouse Okay, so I've got the memory stick in the back of the uh, Sansco box and I've now got to find the piece of video that I actually want to save. Um, let's for argument's sake say that somebody had driven past my car and hit it overnight. So what I need to do is to find that piece of section. So I want to right click on the pictures, go to playback mode and if it's on camera number one, um, I've got the four channels here which is each of the cameras and all these little red dots little red time sections there are actually when the camera came on and did a recording from the motion detection so um, what I would do is I would just gradually go through until I find roughly the time I'm just going to left click on that so as I can see that actual camera um, and I mean at the moment the car shows is all right so if I found it as I clicked forward maybe that was the car that hit it so what I need to do is I'm just going to start that file again and I'm going to pause it. I need to make a, a note of the time, the date, which is obviously today, and the time that the start I want it to record. So say from 10, 25, 22. And I'm just going to start it playing again and then how long I want it to play for. Or in this case, till 10, 25, 28. So it's only about a five or six second um, area. So what I'm now going to do, I'm now going to right click, I'm just going to take that up window which takes me back to the main file, right click again and I want the main menu, record, backup. When I get this up, this now tells me that that is the USB stick which is actually in the back of the machine and it's got 7.47 gigabyte of uh, space available. I'm now going to add the piece of video that I want to record from. So I click back up and what I get here is this menu. Uh, the type, I've got all there, you can actually tell it just to record from um, a motion detection from when the alarm set off the recording or whether it was the motion detector itself or both. You can set it manually or general but I just leave it in the all position, I've not used any of the others. The channel number is the camera that you actually want the clip to be from. So in this case it's going to be camera number one. You can actually click any one that you want, say something had happened in one of the other video cameras, you can click whichever camera number you want, or you can set it to record all files from at that time that you're going to set. I just need it from camera number one. So I decided that I wanted the start time to be today, 10.25 and I think it was 22 seconds. So I'm just going to click on that and change that to 22 seconds. And I'm now going to just click and I'm now going to look at the end time. So it's the same date. So if I set that to 10, it was only a short piece I wanted, but you can set it for any length of time. 10.25 and I think it was to about, say 30 seconds, just for argument's sake. Click that in like so. Okay, so that's the information I want to record. The backup format, which it's going to, the type of file it's going to put on the disk, um, H.264 is the default. That does not work. I cannot play that back on my PC. Um, so if, you, if you've got the same problem, what I do is I click it and change that to an AVI format because I can play that back on my media player, my Windows media player. Once I'm happy with that, I can then just click Add, which adds that file and it just confirms 31st of March, 10.25 and 23 seconds to 10.25 and 30 seconds. Okay, and I'm now just going to click, click Start. Okay, and now it's backing up that, that memory and it's now done. 
It doesn't take long. Obviously, the longer the file, the longer it takes. So I'll click on that. And I'll just close that all down now. And now I'm just going to take the USB stick from... I'm just going to switch my camera back to my PC. I'm going to take the USB stick out the out of the box now. I've now got it plugged into my PC and I'm just going to open up my PC and it's USB drive F so I'm just going to open that up and there is the file I've just recorded. Now to play that I need to right click it and I open it with my Windows Media Player. That comes up like so and I just click on the expand and there's a piece of video. It's only a very, very short piece, but you can, like I say, you can have it. I'm just going to start it again. So that would actually just record the event of, of the accident if it happened. Um, I can also, if I've got more than one file showing, because um, you, you can only watch them individually this way, I've got a, um, a, an editing feature on my video, whereas I could download both of those files and string them together so I can make one long video if it overlapped or if I had two uh, from two camera positions and um, that is something you would have to do on your PC yourself if you've got the editing suite you'll know how it works uh, but that's how it works on mine anyway so there we are just a little bit of information for you so I hope that helps and uh, I might see you in another video soon thanks for watching